Hello and welcome to Old Nintendo Gamer and Son. We're always bringing you the biggest and best Nintendo news, and today on June the 7th is no exception. If you like our content, please subscribe and give us a like. The latest firmware for Nintendo Switch, bringing it to version 10.0.4, is out right now. It fixes an issue which we described in the news last week, which prevented users in certain regions from registering credit card information on their accounts to purchase things on the eShop. All fixed. Retro first-person shooter Iron Fury has had a number of fixes, bringing it to version 1.06 which addresses in the main the game's inverted aim issue. It also fixes some stuttering issues, unexplained 180 degree rotation and other miscellaneous fixes. 51 Worldwide Classics has already received two updates since launch. The first to version 1.10 enabled some online features, play with friends features and the ability to use the voice chat feature in the Nintendo Switch online voice app. Then a further update to version 1.1.1 fixed several other issues to make a far more pleasant gaming experience. No More Heroes 3 director Suda51 has shared a new image of the game, which is an image taken from in-game footage. Enjoy! Skater XL has been delayed on all platforms until the 28th of July, however, the Switch version won't have a new release date for another few weeks. We'll keep you posted when that arrives. We have all the details of the Indie Live Expo 2020 that just took place yesterday, so let's get to it. Chinese Parents is coming to Switch. It's a simulation title described as a casual yet realistic life sim with a Chinese authenticity. Samaya, a new narrative adventure game that takes place in a mystical Japanese mountain village. No release date information yet. Hack, an apocalyptic themed Metroidvania game, is being made for the Switch with no release date. Hakoniwa Explorer Plus is out on the Nintendo eShop on June the 18th in all its voxel action delights. Devil Slayer Ruxasi is bringing its top-down action-styled game to the Switch with no release date. The aptly named Reggie, his cousin, two scientists, and most likely the end of the world is also on its way to the Switch with no release date yet. Air Missions HIND is bringing its action combat fighter simulator to the Switch this summer. One Way Heroics Plus is bringing an RPG roguelike game to the eShop as a download-only title on June the 18th. The zombie first-person shooter Infected Maze is coming to the Switch and has no release date confirmed. Such Art, a painting sim, was announced for Switch during the Live Expo and is currently targeting a Fall 2020 launch date. A physics-based puzzle platformer Derpy Congo will see life on the Switch in 2021 and the roguelite shooter Project Starship X will be arriving on the Switch in the future. It will debut on Steam first this month and keep your ears pinned to old Nintendo Gamer & Sons news for the release date on this title. Quantum Suicide is a space-based visual novel, very dark in its storytelling and very dark on its release date, unknown. Kojin Sword of Rewind, a side-scrolling action platformer where the main protagonist has the ability to rewind time, has no release date either. Right at the end of the Indie Live Expo 2020, they mentioned that they will be bringing the Indie Live Expo 2 to your screens on November the 7th. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can check out our other great content on Twitter and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers including iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud and TuneIn. Follow the links below.